All right, folks, I think it is done being built. Um, I think it's done. I got the, oh, I got to put a heat shrink on this. There's no heat shrink on that. Got to get some heat shrink on, on there. Um, yep, yeah, so we'll heat shrink that. I may also do an additional strain relief. Yeah, that's okay. I'm thinking about the fact that if the battery gets loose in a crash, then could that get into the props? Well, I guess anything can happen in a crash. I mean, maybe I could attach it to a vertical standoff like so. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'm not sure yet. We'll figure it out. But I think it's pretty much done. I've done the antennas using my standard method of zip tie, zip tie through the frame, and then just lay the antenna against it and heat shrink it down. No problem there. And, um... I have a lot of safety checks because I don't like smoking things. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just make one final check that I haven't screwed up the polarity somehow. So I'm going to get my multimeter and set it to continuity mode. So it beeps when we have continuity. And you should have continuity between the ground pin on the X-T60 and the other locations for ground. And the most convenient location to get ground on most of these copters is the the outer barrel of the SMA connector is grounded. Now oftentimes you'll find other things getting ground, like sometimes the frame the frame uh, nuts will have ground or screws will have ground or the standoffs. They'll get it from here really. In this case that doesn't seem to be happening. So anyway, I do have the correct polarity. I haven't somewhere how reversed the polarity on, on this. And you can check for connectivity to other places. I also should not have continuity between the hot wire and ground. No beep, no beep, no beep, good. If you have a capacitor on your system, you may get a very, very short beep as the capacitor charges, uh, and then it'll go away. But I don't have a capacitor on the system. So we're good here. The next thing to do then is to get a smoke stopper. Seriously, if you don't have one of these, make one or buy one. You can, Hobby King has started actually selling one. It has a fuse in, it has an auto, Hobby King's version has an automotive fuse in it. And I'm like, I'm not sure how that works because the nice thing about this is that it'll it'll light up when you have a short and it'll show that you have a short, but it doesn't blow out. I haven't had to replace this bulb really ever. So um, I, I don't know, but get one because if you have a short somewhere in here or anything goes wrong with your ESCs, your motors, this will save you, okay? But I can't plug it in yet, can I? Why can't I plug it in? No antenna here. So I've got this little antenna. This is a um, Crazy Pony makes these. I've, I haven't tried it in flight yet, uh, but some people say that if you're not flying very far, like if you're just racing and you're not going behind trees and stuff, these are much more durable than, than the circular polarized ones. Uh, they don't give you the range, but you don't need it. So I'm just going to stick that on there just as a dummy load, really, so I don't burn out my video transmitter when I power up. That's good. And time to power up. And when I power up, if this bulb lights up, I have an electrical problem that uh, the copter is trying to smoke something and the bulb is saving me. So when I turn, when I plug the copter in, the bulb should not light up. Let's find out. Moment of truth. No smoke, no smoke. Awesome. Okay, the build, the build is done. That's it. Now there's a whole lot of configuration to do. There's configuring beta flight. There's a setting of binding the transmitter, all that nonsense. Calibrate the ESCs. I have videos on that stuff. So I'm not going to walk you through that because that's all stuff I've done before. Uh, but that's it for this build. It's done. Uh, the next thing to do is to finish the configuration and get it in the air. And I'm super looking forward to that. Uh, but that will be time for another day. Happy flying. Happy flying, everybody. I'm looking forward to flying this thing. That's going to be some happy flying. All right. Bye, everybody.